Alrighty, everybody, we're back. Uh, we're gonna wait a few seconds. Um, there is uh, the Stan Taranjo Nick Manuel game. Is it Hill Hill 6-6 six, six beside me? And uh, um, Ben is just practicing on his table. And I'm gonna see if I can swing that camera. Yeah, I don't know how she did this. Oh, yes. See if I can, oh, wrong way. See if I can get that. Oh, it doesn't go all the way that way. So I gotta go all the way this way. Oh, it doesn't, wow, they have it. Is it? I don't think I can get it. I don't think it goes all the way around that way. Oh, maybe it does, yep. Let's see if I can get. This is uh, this is not Carlos. This is uh, Nick and Stan. Six six, six six, Hill Hill, and I'm trying to just. I started our Ben match a little early just to catch this game. This has been an up and down roller coaster. This has been uh, Nick was up four nothing with a gimp, a Ghibli nine ball, and he bobbled it. From that point, Stan ripped off six, six to one, and took the lead. I uh, got to the hill first, six five, and then, um, and then, Nick got the last game to make it six six, and now they're in a bit of a safety battle um, in this uh, hill hill match. So, and what I might do just to, you know, once this is done, maybe I will restart. I don't know, just so that we don't have, uh, you know, truncated like this. But I thought I'd bring you guys a little special extra coverage here. And I still have my special guest beside me. Hi. Her name is Mason Mackey. Not Mason. Macy Mac. <laughs> Not Mason. Her dad is Mason. Macy Mackey. You can also call me Mace Lynn. Mace Lynn. There you go. So we got some, some extra good coverage here. Bonus coverage. There, that's what we'll call it. I didn't realize I didn't have the uh, remote. I didn't have the remote going uh, on the um, whatever it's called, TPZ, EPZ, XYZ, whatever <laughs> camera, and uh, PTZ. So I didn't have it set up, but I figured it out here, and hopefully we get the little uh, high impact and exciting finish to this. Right now, this game is 6-6. Six, six. Yep. Uh, yeah, I have the wrong names up there. That's from the last match, of course. So don't pay attention to that, guys. Um, like I said, this is... I can quickly change that if you guys want, but we know who it is. It's actually... What about your YouTube? Yeah, I'll get this. There we go. Everybody knows who we're talking about here, but at least that way you can see. And then, you know what? I won't restart. I'll let it keep going uh, because we've got some followers and I don't want to, you know, we'll follow this one up. It's going to be Ben Francis playing uh, Steve Folan from BC. That'll be a great match. And it's the final four match. And the winner of this one, um, I don't know who they'll be playing. I don't know who won the other match. But uh, they'll be playing side by side, so maybe what I'll do is I'll have the two cameras 
I'll leave this one set up this way so that we can watch both matches. It, the blue is Stan and then Nick is red. Oh, did I mess up? You messed that up. I messed up. So they've got scorecards on their tables. I don't know if everybody knows that, but they've got little flip charts. And I've just been told I have the wrong names under the wrong color. Whoops. Why? It's true. It's true. Because look, you can see it. It's red over here, and Nick is sitting over here. It's true. All right, hold on. I can fix that. <laughs> She's keeping me on my toes, everybody. There we go. Better. I got the head nod. Better. Why aren't you going? I'm going to get the YouTube up here. There we go. And there we go. We are back live on YouTube. We are back live. So, yeah, I was told, David, I know. And you see, you, keep, you insist on putting the challenge link up there. And you know I don't know how to pin it. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter how much you tell me. <laughs> I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> All right. Wow. I didn't see how, how uh, Stan missed that shot, but it's looking pretty good for Nick right now. <laughs> I've been told twice. <laughs> Alberta Billiards and Snooker Association. I know you. All right, he's just got to make a shot here. Make a shot. One make shot. Make a shot. One make shot. shot. In the heart. Wow. It's just I'm the so nine ball. I'm so glad I was able to bring this last game it's to you guys. lined up perf. Yes, almost, it's Hill Hill, Greg. It's lined up almostly. That's why I started lined a little early. Up. They're Almost waiting to, lined up perfectly. They're waiting to, yeah, they're waiting to start the Ben match, but they want to start the, the final four at the same time, and this one's going a little, a little overtime. So I thought I'd grab the last game here for you guys. Yeah, it's okay, Gord. Good to see you, but I missed you in, uh, I think it was... Hang on, hang on. Whoa, you don't have to leave that. Right? So <laughs> much noise. Wow. We got. Uh, we know who everybody's uh, cheering for here. Wow, what a match. What a match. I am not going to go anywhere, guys. We are going to stay. Uh, I believe Nick went up one. Yep. yep. No, Nick won. It was a race to seven. He won. So that's okay, everybody. Stan gets to continue. He's on the B side. Um, and uh, let me tell you. I'm glad I'm not on the B side. You got that, you got that beast coming down. Amazing. So, well, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to leave this running here because, uh, you know, uh, better than restarting. We'll just uh, go right into Ben's match. So I'll get that set up. There you got it. So you're going to have Ben Francis against Steve Follin. Um And, of course... Let's remind everybody what this is. This is the uh, Len Spitney Memorial Tournament um, in uh, memoriam, of course, for Len, who was uh, quite the figure in the Calgary pool community. And um, hold on, turn that down. And uh, that's what we're here for. So we're down to final four on the A side. B side's been chipping away too. I'm not sure where we're at there. You guys can follow it on Challenge. And this is Dan Clark from Q Sports Live. And I have, uh, right now I've got her mic turned down a little bit because she's eating and, and talking to others. But I've got little Macy or Macelyn Mackey beside me, a little nine-year-old um, wonder girl. So anyway, I'll put her mic back on in case she wants to speak and say hi. Hi. There we go. And we're going to get this match going. But I just want to show again, this is in, in, in memory of, of Len. And they, the players are playing for 
this wonderful little take home prize. And then of course, they get their name on this trophy, which was generously donated by Brian Sewick. Thank you very much, Brian. He's always been a gentleman and a scholar, that guy, and uh, deserves, you know, uh, all the recognition in the world. And for the Where Master is Arts, that trophy? That trophy is over on the, right over there in the, oh. uh, by the cache, yeah. And then we got our sponsors for this tournament. We've got DCL Labor and Contracting, Inc. That's Ben DeWolf. Uh, and crew, and they do all kinds of various contracting uh, work and assignments. So you guys can contact him. We got John Ditto, of course, Calgary Realtor, Remax Realty Professionals, and we have Aaron <laughs> Arganoza. We got a little chuckle. We got it because we got the caricature of Aaron there <laughs> from World Oak Nissan. We the have, head. yeah, yeah. We have our very own Nick. <laughs> Nick, who just won that last match, everybody. We had Nick's Q Innovation, um, who, you know, is just a master at, at repair. You can send him. Um, hold on a sec. I'm just wondering if Ben here is starting or no, he's not starting. Hey, Ben, you're not playing, right? Okay. No, sorry, he's just practicing. Uh, I just want to make sure I didn't miss a break there. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, so we have Nick's Q Innovation, and, uh, uh, well, he's a master with the pool cue there, fellas. So, he went and just had a great match. And now, and then we'll give you a couple of others. We've been a little shy on, I haven't brought this one up in a while. Of course, JB Cases. Um, these cases are guaranteed for life. Your cues, if they ever get damaged, anything uh, in transit, whatever. When my dad was here, yeah. he got me this ginormous uh, caterpillar. It was colorful as a souvenir to go home. Yeah. And I'm like, so I look at it, and I'm like, and then I measure it as the to my dad's pool case. I'm like, this fits your pool case. And, I'm like, and so I'm thinking of maybe getting another one. Oh, yeah. And then we would uh, cut that one, take all the stuffing out, and put a pool case in it. Oh, there you and go. And then glue the head to the pool, the top of the pool case, and I'd have the stuffy pool case. There we go. It'd be the first, yeah. first ever one. So, like I said, handcrafted JB Custom Qs, uh, Q cases. They are awesome. Um, we have Jacoby with its black shaft by Jacoby. I own two of them. Um, and I put uh, I put my Kamui softs on those and they hit like a dream. So Jacoby for your carbon fiber uh, shafts. What else can I talk about? I can talk about before any matches start. Ooh, I want one. Of course, now Predator. Uh, You're making me want one. So these are strike jerseys. I've got the blue one and the red one. Yeah. But yeah, they are really nice shirts. And then, of course... Where can you get them? Uh, you can get them from Jam Up. So Jam Up Apparel online. www.jamupapparel. I've got the blue... I've got... That's right here. Mm, nice. There it is. Sitting on the back of my chair. And, of course, you see all the colors, of course, men's and women's. These are wonderful. They're, they're, you know what? I'll speak to them. Um, this is... Uh, it's actually... When you look at it online here, you're not sure, you know, what the the quality or what the texture or anything like that is they're quite heavy they're actually nice but they they fit nice they 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 sit nice on you they don't hang or anything like that so they're quite nice um then we have the splice jackets i don't have one of these yet i'm thinking of getting one for my wife um and then we got the action jerseys it kind of looks like nice. you're wearing one yeah yeah i got the long sleeve but uh, it is. It's a jam-up shirt. And, uh, of course, we have the Arcos 2 balls that they're playing with on all of the tables here at Leather Pocket. Um, uh, and, and, of course, the rack that, uh, that they play with. I think I want one of these. You know, they're, they're cute. Look at the ball. They all got little, they all got little uh, uh, predators, I guess, or whatever you want to call them. They're predators. Uh, yeah, they're cute. Cheetos. And then, uh, yeah, cheetahs. And then we get the Arcadia cloth. So all these diamond tables have been reclothed with the Arcadia 
Predator cloth. I put this cloth on my table at home. I've got a valley table like that, but um, but I put the the Predator cloth on it, so it's quite nice. Sometimes I wonder if you can like get a pink cloth for your pool table. You can get any color. I've any seen, color? Yes, I've seen black. I've now seen dark purple. I want. Now I'm gonna take my dad's least favorite color and put it on his favorite pool table. There you go. But this is. I'm gonna prank him. This is what we're here for, right here, is Len. And so, like I said, we're down to the top four in the A side. Um, and then, uh, and then we got the B side working its way. And we'll be getting going here shortly. Just wanted to get everybody up and ready and watching. Do I have questions? We'll get to, we'll get to your questions. Um, yeah, Gord, good question. Why am I not going to Vegas? I don't, you know what? It's funny. It's I have choice to go either to the ACS, which is, uh, I believe, the 13th to the 20th. Um, now there's this uh -oh. tournament. <laughs> there's, nice. There's this tournament, which I should put up here. Um, the Huntington... The Huntington's Disease Second Annual Hope for a Cure, but it's going May 12th. What to if 14th. we put the camera over here? Yeah, so it's going to go right in the middle of that ACS, uh, you know, championship in Vegas, and then of course there's VNEA from the 25th to June 4th, and uh, I'm not VNEA sanctioned. Um, I tried to pull a couple of strings yesterday with uh, Steph, and uh, there's no way I can get to that one. So. I don't know. It's uh, and I don't have a team for the ACS yet. Like my team's not going, so um, it's possible. I've I've got my wife primed and ready. I uh, I've asked her. I said I want to go. So I've got the go ahead, but I don't have a team. But Brian's watching again, and I'm hoping that uh, Brian and I will put a team in this three-man, this three-person uh, Huntington's disease, hope for a cure. Again, this is uh, Georgios, uh, one of the players that was in this tournament is, I'm not gonna try and get rid of that. Uh, hold on. Let's do this, and this. Oh, let's do this, and this, and this. Just maneuvering some things here. There we go. Pull this back on there. Okay, yeah, so, so you know, it might be a moot point whether or not I'm going to Vegas or not. So, might be here for that tournament instead. <laughs> and look at that. I just got an invite to Vegas. <laughs> All I had to do was talk. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? That's in the air. I'm well, isn't sure. that a. Isn't that the point of a live stream is to talk? Of course. <laughs> She's look at that. And I've got I've got my I've got my good little assistant right here. If you guys saw the last stream, you would have seen I had her I had her walk out in front of the camera so that she could be seen by all of you. Um, so Mason, her dad, Mason Mackey, is playing in a match. It's tied three three now. It was two one before, but it's tied three three. With my uncle Woody. With her Anki, uh, Anki, Uncle <laughs> Woody. <laughs> of course, everybody. I don't think we've ever called someone Anki. I think we should start. <laughs> oh, I think we'll start a trend. <laughs> We're gonna call. You know what? We're gonna truncate Uncle to Anki because he plays with a short cue instead of a full cue. He plays with a short cue, so instead of calling him Uncle, we'll call him Anki. There we go. Uh, We'll or uncle Uncle-y, there we go. Um, so yeah, so so far this morning we've had some, a couple of really, really good matches. Um, on the stream we had Jesse Nowak um, playing Warren Ortiz and he uh, won at 7-4, 7-5, I think 7-5. We have like no comments on, on the YouTube. Yeah, yeah <laughs> uh, we've got 51 people watching though, but uh, nobody's commenting. And we've got 50 on we Facebook. We need more comments. Yeah. But we yeah. need more comments on YouTube. So we we saw the tail end there of Hill Hill with Stan and, and Nick. And of course, behind me in the seven foot, we had uh, Carlos lose Hill Hill to Alan Wang. So that was a 6 5 match. Uh, like I said, we've got uh, Mason playing Woody, and they're at 3 3. 
So there's there's been some really tight matches. So if you're in the Calgary area, we're at Leather Pocket. And uh, there's still lots of good pool here. We still got, you know, two ace, well, three ace side matches, right? We'll get the semis going to go in a few minutes. And then, of course, the winner of that will be, you know, we'll, we'll claim the hot seat. Uh, or we'll claim the match for the hot seat. And then uh, we'll wait for the B side to come around and, um, and play. So lots of pool left. Lots of pool left in Calgary. Plenty. Yeah, at, yeah, at the leather pocket here. And, uh, you know, we could use some... We can use some uh, people to come and heckle us in person instead of, you know, keyboard warriors out there. I'm talking about Derek Moore. I don't know if he's on, but <laughs> this is my little dig at him. Silence! Silence, infidel! Oh, there's no comment. <laughs> when does the Woody Show start today? He <laughs> playing with the short. He is, Len. I'm watching him. He won his first match against Tim Hazlitt this morning, like 7-1, or 6-1, sorry, because the race is 6, with the short stick, and now he's playing against Mason, and he's tied 3-3 with the short stick. My father. Yeah. So, I don't know. I guess maybe he's going to start a trend here. I, I don't think it's a trend that we want to promote, but uh, holy, he's, he's, <laughs> he's, ma he's making an argument for, for playing with the short stick, that's for sure. So yeah, so oh yeah, so that's right. So Jesse won. So Jesse will be playing Nick in the other A side, and Ben will be playing uh, Steve Foley. So again, and I've got the uh, I've got the two cameras uh, set now, so we can peek over when we get a break. We can peek over at the other A side match. Uh, I'm learning all this stuff on the fly, right? So. Um, learning all this stuff on the fly here, so I'm able, I was able to move it, and uh, I'll give you a little peek. I'll give you a little peek of uh, how this works. So we got, of course, the the regular table where we got Ben, but we're gonna have a little side view here of um, Nick and uh, Jesse. So hopefully that'll be good. So we're just burning a little bit of time while they're getting ready. We're getting ready here to to stick around, and we'll have some we'll have some pool going in a moment. And I'm sure they're going to get started here any moment. Just uh, I know that Ben was practicing a little bit, and I know Steve is on the seven foot banging some balls. And so I think they're just all taking a quiet little break here, but they should get going soon. And I'm not going to restart. I'm just going to let it go. You ran out of fireball towards the end. It was more exciting than watching the movie show the laughs. It was exciting. I have to say, but, you know, being the, like I said, I'm not a shy person by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not worried. I've been, you know, in boardrooms and this and that with my job. So, so I've been with big wigs, so I, I don't get nervous or anything. But it was a new experience to, uh, uh, it'd be sorry, sorry guys. Yeah. So uh, I can spin here. Let me see if I can spin the. Let me see if I can spin the PTZ around. Oh, I gotta, let's see if I can go and catch that. Yeah. Let's see if we can get. Hold on, let me get it on the screen here so I can see what we're doing. That's, so, that's Alan practicing there. So we want to turn it. We want to turn it a little bit more that way. Lift it up. There, oh, oh, oh. Jesus, Dan. Getting a little, getting a little, uh-oh. You're zooming out. That wasn't what I tried to do. <laughs> I hit the home button by accident. So let's zoom in. What if you aim it at us? Oh, I'm getting them. I'm getting them. Yeah, we can do that too. But we'll just... Uh, somebody wanted to see the Woody show. The, the Woody Mason show. Hmm. Dad and uncle show. Dad and uncle. Is that good, guys? Is that gonna be, is that gonna do it for you? Stole my fries. That's pretty. That's no. That's the best I'm gonna no. do there, I think, at this point. My food. 
So, and I don't have the right names there, of course. But I'm looking at the scorecard. It's 4-3. Looks like it's 4-3 for Woody in a race to six. Nick and Stan was 7-6 for Nick. Nick was up 4-0, uh, Buck, with a, I'm going to say, a less than a one-foot shot. Probably six to eight-inch shot. Nine ball, not hanging. I mean, it was, you know, on the rail, off a quarter inch, whatever. But, I mean, the white ball was by the side pocket, you know, maybe off a foot. So it was almost a straight shot. Right? You just had to minor cut that, and he bobbled it. And then, Nick, and then uh, Stan ripped six to one back. So he got to the hill first, six five. And then Nick clawed away, clawed away and got hill, hill, and then got the final game. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Trying to get, yeah, you guys can see. So Mason is shooting right now. I think there's a match that I'm overshooting here right now there's on this seven foot, but like I said, when these other a side matches get going. I'm going to turn the PTC around and we'll we'll grab a catch of the uh, uh, Jesse and uh, Nick match along with uh, Ben being the main match against uh, Steve Fulham. Yeah, it was quite the match. I did Buck. Uh, um, I think both Nick and Stan would have liked to have one shot back in the uh, last. Last game, there was you know a couple of safeties, but I think they both missed shots that they, you know, they make more times than not, and uh, and then Nick was able to close it out. He had quite the roar from the crowd here. I guess he's got quite the following from his community. A lot of I think Filipino players here that were cheer cheering for him, and it's kind of nice to see. So yeah, you got at least we don't have anything dry on the. Woody no is up. Woody is up. Shoot. Yeah, and Woody is at the table. Yeah, he is. I wonder if I should just lift that a little bit. Oh no, it's the light that's in the way. I thought he was getting his head cut off, but it's the light that's in the way. <laughs> I mean, like we could cut off his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there were people last night that would have cut off his head. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Gord, uh, Grant is on the road. I think he's catching a flight to uh, Spokane at 4.30 today to go meet with um, Damien. And then they just purchased a van, and they're going on a road trip. Uh, I think it's about a three-week road trip, uh, for, for Grant, that is, anyway, uh, where they're going to be going to, I believe, Idaho first, uh, Boise, and then... Um, um, and then they're going to end up somehow in Philadelphia, and they're driving this whole distance, by the way, and then driving all the way back to Oregon, and then I think Grant comes home for a couple weeks, and then he's going to be back on the road, you know, ending up in Vegas. Uh, but they decided to, you know, with the shipping costs and stuff like that for all of the um, conventions and things that they're going to with Jam Up, that uh, you know might be worthwhile. Spend the same amount of money, put it into the purchase of a like a sprinter uh, van, and they're going to do their own. They're going to do their own um, deliveries and stuff like that. So, a little bit more of a capital outlay out front, but they figure, you know, maybe there's some savings, maybe not, but uh, it shouldn't be any. Yeah, a little more control over everything. No, he's had to. Well, I mean. He's, he had things to take care of before he, he was going, so I think he's, his last stream was... Oh, did he stream at all? Oh, yeah, he streamed yesterday morning, I believe, up till around 4 o'clock. Um, then he had to leave. And uh, and then today he didn't even want to bother coming in because it's like he'd have to leave. It. You know, international flight's got to be there like three hours early, so... Uh, you know, we were starting here at 11, so he'd be leaving by 1.30. Hopefully I'm doing okay. Yeah, you know, again, it's one of those things, you know, you take the, I mean, they've had a, several really good months with Jam Up. And, um, and they're starting to, you know, see the turnaround here. That, that's. I just realized this comment. 
yeah. Um, they are, you know, they're trying to focus, you know, on building the business. I mean, it's, it's gotten to a critical mass now. So it's, I think, certainly it's time that they uh, go all in, so to speak, in a poker term. And uh, it's either going to be your business or it's not, right? Uh, for the last few years, you can probably call My it a little bit of a hobby business. Up at the table. Is he? Yeah, he's shooting right now. And the score is still 4-3, so he could square this match if he gets out. <coughs> it's just a little slow. Yeah, the shipping on, I mean, when they're shipping uh, 60, 70, $80,000, whatever, worth of shirts, you know, to, uh, you know, to various venues, I mean, the shipping cost on that starts to get a little bit, a little bit pricey. And then if you're, you know, if you're, you know, you're, at this point now, I think they're getting to the point where they're, you know, bringing a little more stock because, you know, they're finding that in the first few scenarios they were selling out, so they're probably loading up a little bit more now. Well, you get the shipping cost back when you don't sell out. So having the vehicle and gives them a little more flexibility that way. So yeah, so everybody, what you're watching on the screen right now, it's I've got the wrong name, so how about if I put the right names in there? Yeah. Just to, we, we have that ability. Why not put Mackie at the end? We could do that. I think it's because I think it's in large writing. See, it's, in the, it's not in the small font. And I don't know how to change the font. Oh, it's in ca oh, caps. And we have... Woody. And, and he's at four. And then three, four. There we go. And and that's a of course that's a B side match, everybody. So loser is out. But they're they're both in the money. Today is a money day, right? They're all in the money. There's a lot of activity on the nine foot, so I wonder if that's all in preparation for the 10 ball we should be having two matches though starting shortly here Woody is up shooting Well, you know what, Gord? You should give um, you should give um, Grant a call. I mean, he's going to all of those. He's going to all those events for for um, uh, of course for Jam Up. So I mean, I'm sure there's room in the if you want to get stuff here. Where are my comments? He can. can <laughs> the comments for me. Well, we're 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 waiting for the the match to start so we can hear, you know, we can hear from you and uh, your wisdom. But. Um, yeah, maybe give him a shout. I don't know. Maybe he, you can piggyback because he's he's bringing the van home um, from from Oregon, from what I understand. So uh, maybe there's a there's that ability. Did so. anyone follow me last stream except for only one person followed me from so that last stream? We'll do, we'll do this early now. You can put put your so on my on my Facebook on my on my comments. I'm going to allow little Miss Mackie here to put her. TikTok address. She's looking for followers, people. And I'll get her to run out there in front of the camera again. So she'll wave and smile at you guys. It looks like your dad got that game, so it's probably 4-4 four, four right now. It's a tight match over there. Again, as I'm telling everybody, we had some tight, tight matches going on in, in Calgary at the Leather Pocket this morning. Well, we're this afternoon now. We got Alan Wang playing here. He's playing against. There we go. I just sent it. Go Perfect. follow me on my TikTok. There we go. I don't post very often, but I do post once in a while. Nice. So I see we have uh, Jeremiah Hampton there racking. So he's going to be starting a match. 
a B-side match right away here. I already see Stan is over. Let's see if we can do a little pan here. Uh, Stan is... No, nope, the other way, Dan. Uh, not far enough. It's like the hockey game camera. Where it moves to find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's the stands. Oops, let me pull that out a little bit. That's stands game right there. We'll get you back to Mason and Woody in a second, but stands up at the table. And then, of course, you know, most of the action right now, of course, is on the B side. There's a lot of guys fighting to get back to it have a chance to get back at these guys. He sides quite strong, quite strong. Just give me a second. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to mute myself for a second. I just want to ask these guys because I see all four players, but I only see two tables open or one table open. So I don't know where they're going to play the second match. So give me a second. Okay. Where are my comments? Just wondering. Uh, I need questions. Any questions? You can give me jokes. You can give me quizzes. Uh, anything. I just need comments, please. You can you can you can hold the fort. Just 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 talk to people. Where are my comments? Forty nine, which means two people have less left the live stream on YouTube uh, there's 40 58 people on the Facebook one uh, <clears throat> oh they both joined back okay well mm. I do appreciate some Traction to discontinue on the live stream. Good work, Miss Mackey. Thank you. Warren Lynn. <laughs> Lynn, Lynn. The score on my dad and my uncle is 4-4. Four, four. Four, four. Still 4-4. Four, four. Okay, they're just about ready. I just talked to Stephanie, the tournament control, and we'll have these two matches going here in a moment. Hope this is okay, guys, that we're doing this. We're kind of a little bit jumping around. Thanks, Ben. Uh, what's the score with Maz and Unk? <laughs> it is... 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. Yeah, that's kind of the best picture I can get you guys on that. I know there's people walking in the way, but that's about it. 
And we are going to have another special guest. We're, we're going to have to, we're, it's, uh, we've got Ryan DeWolf, so Ben DeWolf's brother, I believe, that wants to come and say a couple words on the stream. So maybe I'll take a vote here. Do people want to have little Macy with Ryan? Or <laughs> are you guys going to kick me off? Or what's the word? Or does she have to, or does she have to share? We'll see. We'll get her back on anyway. She's been a great little helper today. Yep, I got Ben knocking off the table here. He's ready to go. We got uh, Steve hitting a rack or two on the on this table. They're practicing, just practicing right now. And then we're gonna be getting going. Ooh. We just saw Woody miss an eight ball down there. That would have put him up 5-4, put him on the hill. But now Mason's at the table, so let's see what happens. Oh, he stroked it good. I'm surprised yesterday that Woody won. Son. Okay, Ben. With Son. a jump cue. Like, oh, I know. Well, he shoots good. He, he shoots really good, yeah, but does. like a jump cue? That, that's a little too good. It's pretty good. So we got Jeremiah's playing. Uh, and that's, I'm sorry, I just don't know everybody by name here. Um, we had him on the stream yesterday, and I think it's Dean, isn't it? Anyway, it looks like Jeremiah just went up one nothing. Again, a B-side match. Blaine, he's still playing with the jump cue. Yes, he beat Tim Hazlitt this morning, 6-1. And he's in this match here, tight, 4-4. So he's still doing quite well with the jump cue. My dad might win this Dean. one. Yeah, thank you. Woody has the chance to get that eight ball in the pocket. Yes, he does. He's got a good chance of making that eight ball. Plus, he just got ball in hand as well. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> My dad hit the nine, and it went in the corner pocket. Mm. Well, that puts Woody, Woody on the hill. Woody just won, so I believe Woody would go up one. Yep. So, Woody, it is now, it is now four, five. And the pretty young voice we have on the mic is Macy, or Macelyn Mackey, the daughter of Mason Mackey. And this is Dan Clark. And we are coming, you, coming to you live from the Leather Pocket in Calgary, Alberta for the Lens Fitney First Annual Memorial Ooh, there's a comment. Tournament. She's doing great. Thank you. This is my first time. And I think we're going to have, like I said, Ryan DeWolf is going to be joining me uh, in Ben's match. Because he, I think, is very good friends with Ben and wanted a chance to commentate. So we're going to have Ryan on board here shortly. So, I got an I got a question for you. Alan asks, "What kind of cue do you like?" Mini me. No, no, no it's not mini me. He says MM, <laughs> which is Macy Mackey. <laughs> I started to insert my little uh, humor there. Probably a predator cue because I already have a predator cue. There we go. And I'm only nine, and I have a predator cue. Um, so okay, wait till you hear this. She's also got four pool tables at home. <laughs> four we've already pool had tables. That we've already had that discussion. <laughs> 
But we can only use one at the moment because our house flooded, so. Yeah. Alan says nice. In all capitals as well. It is. He's yelling at you. He's nice. <laughs> of course, he asked you, what kind of cue do you like? <laughs> Ben says you're doing a great job, Macy. Thank you. By the way, I spell my name with an M-A-C-I-E, not oh. M-A-C-Y. It's M-A-C-I-E. Tiffany, Ben's sister, says she's 36 and she doesn't have a predator cue. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> my dad decided to teach me at a very young age and get me the best cue. Yep. So I'd stick with that cue when I'm older. Right. Plus you got it cut down and turn that cut down piece into an extension. So now it fits my height as well when I grow up, I'll just pop on that extension. So. There you go. She's got a nicer cue than me. <laughs> <laughs> Next lady pro in the making. Yeah, well, that's. I asked her if she knows about the Roadrunner. If she knows Savannah Easton, who's 13, and, nope. and burning up the pool scene. And she doesn't I know. I do not. She's going to have to look her up. Mm. Did I gain any new followers from the live stream? No. I tell you. We've got 57 on Facebook and 57 on YouTube. 57, 57. And you can't get another follower? No. RR is on fire. RR is the roadrunner. She is, Tiff. It's funny. I, I follow her now, so I get all of her posts. And, and I mean, I'm going to say this. Her dad is a marketing genius. Um... Um, just everything they're doing with that, that little girl is just setting her up for not just fame and fortune and all that. So I don't want to, you know, oversell that. But, I mean, it's just I think he's doing all the right things to get her set up for, uh, you know, pretty good run at uh, something she obviously loves to do. Sometimes you wonder, you know, when you got parents that push their kids, you know, sport. I, I say like live vicariously through their 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 all-star children, and uh, I don't think that's the case with this. I think he's doing all the right things. Your dad, I think, is on the eight ball. I think he doesn't have great shape, but he's looking at trying to square that match at fives. So Tiff, and asking, and talking about the Roadrunner, have you seen like the mom though? Like the mom sits on her hands. I, I don't know what her <laughs> her whole thing is on all that, but you watch her and it seems like she stares into the sky sometimes, just just like 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 a blank blank face. Like she doesn't know why she's there. It's it's it's. I find it quite funny. Okay, I find it quite funny because. Uh, because the dad, like I said, he's pretty, pretty involved, but uh, mom seems to be along for the ride. I could be reading that wrong, but I just... Oh, he must have won. That must be now a hill-hill match over there. In bringing, it to you, bringing you some overtime. Yes, she sits in her hands. Okay. 
So we got a hill hill match off in the distance there. So geez, that's just got to bring you a little bit of overtime here. I got to bring you the Nick Hill Hill match, and now you got a little Mason and Woody Hill Hill match over there. And then we'll get then we'll get ripping into the Nick and uh, Jesse match and the Ben and uh, and Steven match. We got some good pool here. Come on, guys, let's get down here. There are a lot of people here, but there's still room. And there's a ten ball tournament starting here too. So. Lots of pool to watch. Lots of pool to watch. Getting a great picture of Dean there. We want to be walking to the table behind Dean. Dean, scooch over. There we go, buddy. Hampton. Looks like Jeremiah's up 2-0. Just give me like 30 seconds because I just, yeah. So at this point, do you think I should kill this one? Because I, I picked up the end of uh, that match, and I picked up that match, and now it's your match. So I'm going to have 51 minutes. So you're okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you just basically said you have been really low. Yeah. Then you restarted. So it's about 100. Sorry, I was just talking to Ben there, asking if he wanted me to restart and start, you know, start it up again for, you know, but we've been going only 51 minutes, so. Oh, okay. We've got another special guest going to be sitting with us here. It is. Okay. So we've got Stephanie, Stephanie Toy in the house. Here we go. We there got we Stephanie go. here. What do we got going on here? We got the Hill Hill match in the Woody Mason game until these ones get started. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. We picked up the Hill Hill match on that one, uh, the uh, Nick Nick and uh, Stan game. And now we got to pick up the Hill Hill match over there. A little bonus coverage. Yeah. No, it's good. There's lots of tight matches going on today. Yeah. This is oh, you got a what up toy. Where the Bobby cream Gill. rises up to the top. Hello, Bobby Gill. Hey, Tiff. Did Mason get it? Mason got it. Good job. That so was a tight one. That was a tight one. Woody was up, and then Mason pulled out the last couple. That was games, a grind. So it was neck and neck the whole way. Yeah. Two, two, three, three, four, four. Awesome. Back and forth. Well, we are going to switch it up. And did they start? I believe they did. Oh, they were supposed to tell me. All right. They didn't. They didn't. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, all you missed, everybody, was Ben's opening break. And so now we've got the A-side semifinal between Ben Francis and Steve Fola. This should prove to be an awesome match. And I am going to move the PTZ. And we are going to get it looking down at Nick and Jesse. We just have so. two tables going with the A side matches going on. So it's Jesse Novak uh, versus uh, Nick Manuel, Nick's Q Innovations, who has been playing stellar. Um, I think that, my personal opinion, Nick just lacks a little bit of experience in the tournament. In the tournament setting, he's just got to settle down with the nerves because he's been coming out of the shoots hot. Yeah, yeah. Up four or five, nothing, and then just kind of misses a shot and lets his opponent, you know, in the back door. So I think we're going to see a lot more of Nick at these tournaments. Well, good. And he's going to do some damage. Oh, he's a great player. And Jesse. Yeah, he was, uh, I mean, I was watching that match. He was up 4 nothing with what I, you know, I, I don't want to insult anybody, but with a Ghibli nine ball for a 5 nothing lead, and he, he bobbled it. 
But you know what? That's all Stan needs, right? Yep. Just oh. He just needs an opportunity, and he can grind and save to you to get back in the game. He and ripped, he was there. He ripped off 6-1 to one after that to get to the hill first. That's right. Yeah. So we have our very own Ben Francis and uh, Stephen Follin from Vancouver. Stephen owns his own pool hall in the Vancouver area, so Sneaky Pete's. I did not know that. Yeah, so he owns his, it's not more, it's not really a hall, I should say. It's, I think he's got, I think he said he said six to eight tables in there. Mm. Um, but it's more of like a, you know, a daytime destination for, you know, the, the goers of downtown and all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. But, um, so he's catering to a bit more of a business crowd. Yeah, he okay. says he says that he's got you know some small tournaments going on there. But if you are in the Vancouver area, go visit Stephen's place, Sneaky Pete's. There we go. We just learned something, everybody. Really good food and drink there. Good equipment. I mean, he's a he's a an experienced player, right? I think yeah. he's. I think Stephen is in the lower 700s. 712. We looked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I mean, he's a, an experienced player. He's gone to a lot of the open, world international events. He, we we're just talking outside. He's played against Jason Shaw and wow. all those guys. So, he knows what uh, he knows what a good place needs and how to take care of the equipment. Wow. Go ahead. A little draw oh. shot here from Ben, just to bring it back for the seven. He's a little steep on the seven, but it's a good angle to get back down for the nine. Yeah, for sure it is. Just needs to avoid any scratch, which he has done. Yeah. He should be good here. That's great shape. Ben might put up first blood. And it's in its home. I was talking to Ben a little bit earlier about um, he had a little bit of nerves earlier. He was playing against um, Jezreel uh, first thing this morning. Yes. And he missed a, a fairly easy ball or two. And so the nerves kicked in. And then he oh. was, no, sorry, he didn't miss a ball or two. He actually made a tough cut off the top rail. And the cue ball came and slid right into the side pocket. Oh, no. So his confidence was shook. That's, that's, I mean, that's not usual for Ben, but you know what? We're getting deeper. We're getting deeper in the, in the tournament. It's one that he, it, he cares a lot about. It matters to him. Right? He's, he, he loved Len and, and he wants to win this tournament. Yeah. I mean, this is the first annual. Yeah. Uh, he had a really deep connection with Len, which many of us did. Yeah, of course. Um, what but a this, shot. this one will really hit home for him. Oh. Get back to our feature. Well, no, I'll, let, I'll finish that nine ball. So it looks like Nick's going to get on the board. I'll switch back to our feature game. One nothing for Nick. Great. I think the angle is better on this table here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not. I'll try and keep it on this one. I yeah, just, <laughs> just keep it on this one until maybe they go for a break or something. Yeah. Then we can flip over to the other one. Steven's actually got a really nice looking table here. It's a little bit of a stun to keep the four in the same pocket. Yeah, well hit. Let's come so. around two rails, come underneath the five. Okay, he's got some options here. I think that he can either, he's fairly straight on this side pocket. He can draw it back. He can go forward, just off the side rail and back for the five, or he could do, you know, two rails with some draw. He's got some options here. This is definitely preference. Quite a bit of traffic in the room today for it being uh, Championship Sunday. Well, we are here in Calgary at the Leather Pocket, and they have their their Sunday ten ball tournament going on too. Yeah, we just kind of figured, you know, we're down to uh, we had four tables this morning for the A side, and quickly down to two tables, yeah. so most of the room was empty. Yeah. 
freed up. So the 10 ball event is going on. There's quite a few spectators in the room. He opted to go to rails, yep. just misses the side pocket. That would have been my preference. It's of course you are messing around with that side pocket. Well struck, well hit. Just gotta make a couple good shots and get on the board here. I was talking to Steven earlier and he said that his goal for this tournament is to lose 11 games. So he wants to win the event. And only lose and 11 games. And only lose 11 games. What's he at? He's, he's at nine. Oh, he's at, including this one? No, before this event. Oh, okay. Before this event. Oh, he's got he's to put a little bit of a run. So, <laughs> yeah. Against uh, one of the best players in the room. It's tough. Yep. It's getting tough. I mean, that's a great goal to have. Yep. I think he underhit it. Uh, he'd be okay with uh, that. He's okay. Yeah. He's okay. He's going to try and keep it neck and neck here. We have a tie ball game. <laughs> and Ben's back on the, on the break. Alternate breaks for this event. And I'm sure you've probably explained the format of the event where I we're uh, nine ball on the nine foots for the A side, yep. eight ball on the B side on the seven foots. Uh, it's been a great event. We took 96 players, which I was very hesitant in doing, by the way. But I think we muddled through. We did okay. We made uh, really good time yesterday. The A side was done by about eight o'clock last night. B yeah, side, B side right. ran a little bit later. Did it? <laughs> we, uh, yeah. No, let's not get into that. I think I think we would have been in real big trouble if we were at 128. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think 128 would have been. I think the races were good uh, with seven and six. Yeah. It's you know they weren't super short races. Of course, we would prefer to them to be longer, but it was uh, it made good time yesterday. Oh, he made the wing ball and bounce. I think he has a peek at the one. He does. Two ball is just past the side pocket, so he wants to be on the lower end of the table for that. Yeah, particularly with the three backup table, too. I think Ben's just got barely enough for this one ball. It's going to be tight. Yeah, I'm looking. He's got he, enough to clear the two. But it's he can clear the two and he can chip the one, but can he can he make it? Nothing he had that. just enough. He put yeah. a little insight on that. Perfect shape. Nice to come around. Yeah. A little draw to slide over yeah. for the three. That'll be good. Which is next five balls up here. Four ball went down on the break. Six to the seven is going to be the key shot here. Well, if he stops it right there, he'll have a good angle on the six. Not too difficult a shot. Okay, maybe roll it an inch. Do that little. Middle ball punch. Ben's just waiting for sh the shooter behind him. Yeah, good angle. Ben's feeling pretty confident. Like, I, I don't know if you guys watch a lot of the streams, but you can tell how comfortable Ben is feeling at the table by his pace. When he slows down, he's really struggling. Uh -huh. But Ben is typically a pretty speedy player. Hit that perfect. We don't get to see Stephen Fullen on the stream very much because he's, uh, you know, Vancouver is a 12 hour drive. Yes, yes. And he's a, he's a working man, so he doesn't get out to the events very much, but we're, we're super happy to have Steven in the room too. Such an accomplished player. 
Another perfect shot by Ben there. Let's roll this up, float it in, take the nine, and be up 2-1. He's taking a little more time. He is taking a little bit more time, but this is, remember, Ben's first event that he's played in this tournament, or in a tournament, where he's had to be at the leather pocket in this capacity. Right. He is running the place now. He's a GM here. So another mental uh, level that he has to overcome, right? Because you're always watching staff, yep. where, you know, if the food's coming out at any time, who's in the room, who's not in the room, yeah, yeah. This, you know? making sure that the staff is still operating the way they should. So we do have another guest here. And what I'm going to do is I will let Steph take over. No, I, no, feel no. Free. I actually, I have to go check the draw sheet. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I got, there's a couple of matches that can, finished. Do you want to, you want to stay with Ryan for a few minutes? I'll go grab a water or whatever. And you I, can, I can stay sure. for a few minutes. Yep. While yep. you go freshen up. It's just that very first knob there. You just want to turn it. No, that on the other side, on the very left. Yeah, just turn it. Perfect. There's your volume. So we have Ryan DeWolf here sitting in with us. He's one of the the sons of one of our beloved pool community. Yes, thank you very much. It's good to be here and watch some high level pool. Yeah, you've been playing quite a bit lately, hey? I've been trying to. Yeah, for sure. I joined the tournament here today, or I guess over the weekend. Uh, I was out quite early, but you know, I'm here and for the... It's all about the experience. That's right. It's all about the experience and it, for a good cause, obviously. We all knew and loved Len. So what a perfect event to kind of get your feet wet. Are you going to play more? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, after I'm done commentating today, I'll be out playing the rest of the day, most likely. Yeah, perfect. It's all about hitting more balls. And you're surrounded by so many great pool players in this room. Oh, it's true. And you know, Len and your dad are like family, so. Ben's got a really nice laid out table here. Nothing is tied up. Three leads to the four nicely, four to the five, five to the six. Couldn't say it'd be so easy for me, but it's. Oh, it's easy. Like, we don't miss from back here, no, right? No, That's. Definitely. That's the cliche. Well, we've never missed a shot from back here. Definitely harder to execute. But for me, I know that my, not that I'm any stellar player, but my game has elevated just by sitting here and watching these guys play because you know what the, what the correct pattern is. So my pattern play has, has gotten much better. What can be done, what can't be done, or you shouldn't, shouldn't, you know, use draw or whatever. Correct, yeah. So you gain a lot of experience just by watching these guys. Ben's got a really nice angle here on the seven to stay for the eight in the same pocket. Oh, he almost missed it. He you know, gave he gave a little head shake there. A little a bit of a pucker. It was not uh, it was not how he envisioned it going in. He knows he uh, got fortunate there. He's got a little smirk on his face. That's true. So he's just taking an extra second here to reset. He knows he got fortunate in not missing that seven ball. Definitely not a move I would have played. I would have been up shooting that eight ball right away. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just got to reset the nerves a little, you know? Yeah, for sure. And that just comes with experience. I mean, these guys have played hundreds and hundreds of tournaments. Yeah. All right. Well, now that these guys are racking, I will let, let Dan get back in the seat here. I've got some tournament draws I need to update. So I will leave you in these good hands.
Hello, everybody. I'm back. I just have to go get a water. And we have Ryan DeWolf with me now. Steph is going back to the tournament desk. And an update on Nick's match. Yeah, it's 2-0, uh, I believe, for Nick. So let me just update that, too, over here. And this match, who won the last... Who won the last game on that one? Oh, it's 3 1 for Ben. All right, there we go. They're keeping the scorecard up to date. How you doing, Ben? Uh, ben. I'm going to call you Ben. <laughs> of course, I'm going to call you Ben. How you doing, Ryan? Oh, it's good. It's good. You know, it's fun to be here watching some good pool and hanging out with good people. It's great. There's some really good pool going on right now. We've had a, a bunch of Hill Hill matches already this morning on the B side and the A side. Oh, so that's exciting. Fun. Yep. Yeah, well, he's already passed that. So if he came into tonight, if he came into this match with nine losses, um, then he's got three more. He's passed that 11. So now he's got to focus on staying in the tournament or staying on the A side anyway because Ben's looking like he's got his game face on. What do nice you think cut there? there. Yeah. Good shape for the two. Good string of running racks at the same time. Pattern play is my downfall. You know what? You're absolutely right, Patrick. Um, so, so my game. I mean, I thought I was a pretty decent pool player. I was playing in the Masters divisions, so, you know, up leading up to 2012, 2013, and then I took six years off. I just had stuff that I had to deal with, with my business and personal life and whole lot and the whole thing. And came back in 2019, and just came back as a like a spare in an in-house league, just to kick around the ball a little bit, and uh, and then. But it was it was watching the stream that got me got the bug back, and I was watching guys that I had played with, and uh, you know, it's funny. It was looking at it's again it's the bird's eye view, right, that we give you, and you sit there and you look and say, oh, I would have done it like this, or I would have done it like that, and you start you start you know, learning a lot from especially these accomplished players. Yeah, piecing together the puzzle, right? Yeah, and that's all this game is. It's just trying to figure out what the right what the right order is, and yeah right power and all that stuff and pattern play is so important uh in you know yeah well nine ball i mean especially in a rotation game like that when you only have one ball that you can shoot um but uh but yeah pattern play is the is, is the difference between you know a lot of these players it's and and i mean from a lower level player or call it a b or c player compared to your a and your master players you know Yes, you can pot balls better, and they've made every shot, and they got their spins and stuff like that. But potting balls is something that you know we can all kind of do to various levels. But the pattern play is so different when you watch, you know, the top players play compared to a, a bar player, right? Like for sure. Yeah, I watch these guys, and man, sometimes it just blows my mind. Like I, I'd never fathom the idea of shooting some of these shots, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, again, there's, there's the, the the difference in the quality of play like that shot there, the control factor, the control of the rock. Well, that comes from practice. So yeah. if you're not if you're not going to practice, then you're never going to get to this level. So there's no point even talking about it. Um, you know, but if you're a person that's going to put in the practice, you can become an accomplished potter. Still, you got to learn the head game, right? You got to learn the the pattern play, and that's where these guys really separate themselves from your average. Correct. Ooh, diff difficult lie there for Ben. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a thin cut there, but yeah. partly because he's a little, what do we call it, vertically challenged. <laughs> <laughs> We're being kind. Yeah, well, he's breaking out his uh, extension there. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, this, this wouldn't be such a hard shot of his, you know, up table a bit, but he's got a stretch across this table, so you can always end up poking at it instead of stroking it when you, when you got that. It's got to be sure on this shot. Yeah. I think he hit it nothing but net. Beautiful. Yeah, I think uh, I think Steven is uh, changing his focus. He's yep. got to change. He's got the. Uh, he's going to bring it to the next level gonna, here. He's got to bring it. He's got to bring it. Looks like looks like. Uh, yeah, Ben is awesome with patterns, eh, Ben? <laughs> nothing like you were the other night, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing shade over the stream. <laughs> oh. Oh, we had a good match. I mean, I had my three. I had my three euros, and he had his three euros. We were just, just he did one of his against me. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Brian got me in his in our game too. I gave him, I let him back at the table. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Made a bad shot. Well, not a bad shot. It was just it was a bad shape. A little unlucky. Then you finish me off, bugger. Had no choice. Can't leave young man with these opportunities. There He's gonna go. pounce. What do we get there? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. He made one. All right, but he can't not see the one ball. Maybe the edge. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't see the two's hanging. He didn't make yeah, one. No. Nope. Yeah. He missed that little guy right there. Hiding in the corner. Yeah, he can see the edge. I'm looking down the barrel. He can see the edge of the one, but that's about it. See, this is where it becomes like a pleasure to watch these guys play. Oh. Difficult shots. I mean, I'd be going for a push, something to try and keep him away from that two, three, four. I mean, the table's laid out so beautifully. The only problem is that one. Yep. Yep. If somebody gets to that one, they should be out because that two is just to set up ball, right? Yeah. Ben Francis has taken a good walk around the table looking at everything, every opportunity here. So have you been on the stream before? Never. Never. So, Grant, you've never. Okay. How's our young man doing here? Oh, uh, don't ask him that, man. Come on. <laughs> He's doing great. I can't take that kind of pressure. Uh-oh. There he goes for the push. Wow. There. Yeah. yeah Pushes he gave, the. He, yeah, he gave him an edge, though. Yeah, the eight right in front of the nine there. So this one's at 2-1. Keep that up to date. So Nick's up on Jesse 2-1 in the other semifinal, just to keep everybody up to abreast. Behind us, we have Alan Wang playing, and he's in a 2-2 tie. Uh, I don't know what a, a Warren's playing back there. It looks like he's in a 1-1 match with Mason. So we got some good matches going on here. Again, if you're in Calgary, we are at the Leather Pocket. This is the first annual Len Bit neat memorial tournament. And uh, Len was the owner of the Leather Pocket. His daughter Sonia has taken over um, with his passing in December. But uh, he was a uh, not only a class act, but a uh, really nice, really nice guy. Total legend in the community. Yep. Always giving out. The Christmas suppers were always, uh, always a treat to stop by and Enjoy company, free pool, and, you know, we all appreciate the man he was. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, we played in the same league right in that in-house in the Partners League, and we played against him that Tuesday, and then Saturday was... That was it, right? You know, like yeah. I remember finding out the day I was at Chills playing a tournament, and uh, I had to respectfully pull out from the tournament. Respects yeah. for Len, you know. For sure. Okay, I'll change the colors, hold on. Apparently I have the colors wrong here. I'm being told by a nine-year-old. <laughs> She's running the show. She's running the show, there we go. Producer. So, because they got the card on the table that you guys can't see, but the red is Ben and the blue is Steve. There we go. We got it right now. She's on the ball, man. She is. So he's got the cut on the three to the corner, and then he'll be in good shape on the four. Yeah, he makes that three ball. It should be duck soup. Yep. Yep. Eight nice ball. Shape for eight ball, nine ball get a little, but I mean, he should be able to ma maneuver that. He plays the seven and rolls the white ball right down on the bottom say. rail. Then he takes the eight and takes the nine back, and he's good. Yeah. yeah. This little stun draw here underneath the six. Give a little angle so he can pull out to so get fairly straight on the seven. Or even where he is right now, he can get that same. He can still just roll right, you know, not, not have that nine ball get in too much trouble for him. This little draw here, yeah, perfect. I know, David. How do these nine-year-olds know so much? So 
So he's got enough angle, I think, here he can punch out. He probably that's what he wants to do. He probably wanted a little more angle. You know, make it easier to just come off that rail, but I think he can just punch out. He's got to focus. These punch shots, though, you know what? You can rattle them in the, in the pocket because you're trying so hard to force the ball off the rail to bounce it out, right? So, Especially in such a high-stakes game. Yeah. He did perfect, though. He went forward instead. You know yeah. what? He was a little straighter than... That's why so he went inside and came up. So that's the... It's a good choice. See if he breaks out that nine now. Oh, he went there for it. There it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's the trouble Ooh. with that, though. A little bit of a hard lay again. I think he'll... Bank kick. Yeah. That eight ball, I think, is on the rail. It's hard to see, but it looks like if it's not on the rail, it's really, really close to it. Pretty much just has to hit it when it should go in. There yeah. it is. Those shots, it's important. A lot of people, a lot of people will play that shot too slow and then That's they right. get hung up. You got to get that little bit of base. There That's it a is. Great shot. Good out, Steven. Score is now 4-2. Four four two. Two. Yeah. Ben Francis. Ben Francis is up out of his seat, ready to break. He jumped to the table there. You know, these guys got great pool etiquette too. You know, Ben there will tap his cue when he sees a you know, good out like that. So yeah. that way he made some good shots there, got out of it. Like we would expect, but we still got to do it, right? You can draw it up, Correct. you can say it, you can do whatever, but until you've knocked that last ball in, it's it's not there. It is not there. As a low-level player here, it's always fun watching Ben Francis put all 100 pounds into that break. Jesus, he got that much? <laughs> <laughs> he gets the wing ball, though, every time. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna have to work to get that cue ball back from the four down to the five, but. Yeah, so he's got the one, he probably, yeah, he probably slide over. He's got a little angle, so he can slide over for the two this way. Yeah. Then the four to the five is gonna be a shot. But if he gets fairly straight, you know, like fairly, fairly, fairly come down the rail. Yeah, and he's, and he's coming down the right side, right? So yeah. just put a little inside draw on it. Sorry, inside top. He'll just make that one, gotta make that one. Oof. That one start, was starting to leak. It was starting to leak on him. <laughs> uh, you know what? On these tables, that's what you learn. So the difference between these tables, these diamond tables and valley tables, is definitely if you're going to miss, you're going to miss on the pro side, right? Miss on the outside in. Whereas valley tables, you can slop off the rail and they'll go in. Not on these tables. No. It's a, it's a different mindset when you play here, right? You've got you to remember now, just adjust slightly to go pro side not short side. Yeah, I think if it just stops it right there. Yeah. You know, he's just got to just make this ball. It's going to automate just the pace of putting it in the pocket. It's going to put him right up in the five ball. Yeah. And that's just the difference in levels to these players, right? Like for me personally, I'd be sweating just looking at the table. Right. Oh, you're getting there, guy. She's got to play more games. I think you said, or somebody said when we were playing, you like, this is your first or second year playing? Yeah, I, well, Ben being my father, I've been around pool my whole life, right? Okay. But uh, it's only been the last year or so that I've been serious about playing right. and getting my own stuff together and showing up, playing weekend tournaments. Oh, you started way ahead of me. I started in my adult life. Like, I started when I moved to Calgary. And, so I moved to Calgary in 91. I might have started in... When I was 93, and that's like three years, two years later. So I started when I was like 25, 26, 27, whatever. Still a lot more years on me, though. <laughs> oh, I've played a few now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I always joke when we're in the bar or whatever, and somebody comes along, you know, and says, Do you play pool? And ah, I played once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Tim Hazlitt watching. Tim Hazlitt was in the tournament. He got knocked out this morning. He's in the money. He made the final 16, so that was all good. Congratulations, Tim. Told you I'd give you a shout out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
So Ben's got a lot of choices here. I mean, he's a little straighter than he wanted on the seven, but he'll probably just go right through. So play two rails and come up. He'll either get between the eight and the nine, right, and shoot the eight. And, uh, and if he somehow ends up on this side of the eight, he's got the combo, right? That's right. I think he'll get between them. I think it'd be more on the right-hand side here. Yeah, there it comes. What a great stroke, eh? Just excellent. It's, it's, it's like it picked up speed after it made contact with the object ball. The spin just took over and it zip. Plays that top spin excellently. Yeah. It's like it hits that ball and it takes a second to think. It's like, I gotta go and it <laughs> goes. Catches its wind. Catches it. Yeah, exactly. Nice shot, Ben. Maybe a little harder than he expected. Yeah, you know, he wanted to make sure he didn't leave it light, and he wanted to make sure that he didn't, you know, guy steer it in. You know, if you steer it, sometimes you'll overcut it because you're just giving it that little, you know, yeah, stutter, me, stutter stroke. Yeah, I know all stroke. about that. <laughs> so, you know what? guy like that knows he can make the shot, so he just makes sure he makes the ball and then take the shot that you know you can make. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, we say it, take what the table gives you. That's what the table is going to give you there, right? And, and don't and don't be worried about that. You can make that shot. You can make that shot, you know, yeah. 19 out of 20 times. But when you're playing, you think, oh, I can't do that. So you do that stutter stroke trying to leave it here instead of here. What's the difference? Right? Correct. That's Ooh. a gentleman's rub there. It wiped his feet, but it's yeah. in. Score is now 5-2, Ben it Francis. 5-2. He is showing no mercy right now. Yeah, Ben, the lively rails on the diamond table, for sure. And what do we have? We have a 2-2 tie over in the other match, the other A-side match between Jesse and Nick. So Nick went up 2-0, but Jesse's pulled back a couple now. Nick's at the table with... Uh, Three balls left, the seven, the eight, and the nine. But the seven and the nine are glued together. He's just going to play safe here, I think. Oh, no, he no. goes for the combo. What so a shot. He, he had the seven and the nine were frozen, but they were a little off, and he uh, he made the combo. <laughs> he just put a little extra spin on that Two white thirds ball of the table distance. It. What a shot. That was a great shot. So Nick is up 3-2. What else have we got in the room here? We've got 3-1. For Warren over Mason, it looks like. Uh, that's not a game. What's this one at? This one is at 3-3. Three, three. Oh, wow. So, Alan Wang, and I just don't know who he's playing here. Uh, what his name is. I was told it's Jez, but that's a nickname for him, I think. I was watching the game between Alan and, uh, quite honestly, forget his other name, but earlier this morning, it was pretty interesting game I yeah. love the commentary t as well <laughs> yeah no it's thanks for keeping me entertained while I wait at the airport for my flight get to be a fan today well Grant Zemp welcome to the stream buddy as a guest Grant <laughs> if you're at the Calgary International Airport I highly recommend the Chili's great establishment good food service is great we just had a public service announcement from <laughs> Ryan Wolf. Everybody, let's go to the Chili's right now. Drop what you're doing. Drop what you're doing. Ben, Chili's is the hold place to on be. here. We have a break. Two, four, six, eight. We did have a wing ball go down, I believe, and he's got a shot on the one. So one to the two, he should be able to make that no problem. Three is close. As long as he gets the proper shape here on the two ball, though, that shouldn't be a problem. For, ooh, that was not what he wanted. No, he definitely wanted not. to come up probably another foot. I mean, he can make the shot, but he just now he's going to let loose a little bit. Oh, he hit it. Oh, he hit it perfect. Nice. Yeah, well, that's why he's a 7-12. That's why we're here and they're over there, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So maybe he was... Yeah, and I think you just gave Ben a smile, so Ben must have just gave him a little <laughs> tap there too, saying that was a good shot. The four is a hanger, so he'll probably just go two rails here with a little bit of left left English so that it goes flattens out a little bit, comes out straight. 
Well, and these are the shots he needs to make in order to yeah. come back and the score even Absolutely. out, right? Yeah, there's the left pop out. Nice. He's going back to the six now. He's on the right side of the four ball too, right? Yeah. Just make it come off the rail a little bit. Got the six. Yeah, he'll just probably use a little check on this. Check off that rail, come out. There, just like that. Little stun draw, come up here for the seven, eight, nine, in the books. Yep, there's a stun draw. There Textbook from here, right? Yeah. Duck soup, as my buddy likes to call it. Duck soup. And we have a five to three match. Good job, Steve. That was a good run. 5-3, uh, 9th. Yeah. This guy's saying, thanks, Ben. The Wolf will be back around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. They've gone off on their own little tangent in the chat here. There we go. Oh, look at that. We got some good We got some good viewership right now. We got 89 on YouTube. We got 87 on Facebook. That's a little unusual, the Facebook leg. Oh, 91 now. Let's get some more people. Let's share that stream, everybody. This is a great match. We got our very own Ben Francis, and we got Steve Fullen from, from BC in an in a A side semifinal. In the other semifinal, we got Nick Manuel, who put Stan on the B side, Stan Tarango, and he's playing against Jesse, who's just been on fire uh, this tournament. Everybody who's played has told me how great he's been shooting. So, uh, and we got to see him this morning, too, and he put a but a pretty good beating on uh, Warren Ortiz, so 7-4, but that right. he was in control. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some scores are just not indicative of what the, you know, 7-4, but he was in control. It wasn't really a, a contested match. No, so. So it looks like, I don't know who's up on that side, though. It's 3-2 now, but I didn't catch who won over there. Oop, going for this, going for the six nine combos. Looks like Nick yep. might be going to go up. I think four two. Nick Manuel, oh, another little, great we legend. Then we got a little break here, so let's just do this. So Nick's shooting the six ball right now. Yep. Oh yeah, he's up three two. He's shooting the six ball right now. I think he's definitely going for the combo. He's lining it up, that's for sure. Another great legend, great person in the community of pool. Oh yeah. And if you need Q repairs, I mean, that's Nick's Q Innovations. Oh! Tough shot I think shot he hit there. it just a little firm. He got, he didn't get the favorable rub. The ball just bounced out. A little upset with himself here. Yeah, we get it again over here. See exactly what he did. I think he maybe overcut it a little bit. Did he hit the rail first or did he go? Yeah, he overcut it. He didn't yeah. catch the rail. Oh, that's a good try. Good match, guys. Yeah. So it looks like Jesse's going to get the the favorable. Well, he got a little he got a little steep on that nine. That's not a gimme. With no, a rake. definitely not. With a rake? That's not a gimme. I thought he was going to get a... Oh, but again, like the level a of these guys. They're just like a champion. There's no question. Oh, doesn't have to think it. about it. Yep. <laughs> so Jesse's the red. Ah, I got the right colors. Look at you go. What happened there? <laughs> Don't need the producer's help today. <laughs>
Ah, David Francis in the house. Cheering on his son, Ben. I'd actually just met him. I've known him for so long. I had no idea the relation. Oh, no? No. Oh, wow. Some of these guys will just go so under the radar. They don't, you know, you just talk to them like as regular people. Well, I mean, I guess everyone's a regular person here, yeah. but, you know, topic of conversation doesn't always come up. What do we got here? We got the one on that side. We got the one to the side, but then the two is going to be a little tricksy. Oh, he did good to hold it there. Yeah. He could bank or cut. So that's going to be shooter's preference, I think. Push that what three a little further down. Yeah. Oh, oh. no. A little horny. He got a little horny there. And I think Nick's got a shot. It's not an easy shot here. No. We'll be cutting what? back to the Ben Francis Steve Fullen game in just a moment. He's Ben is racking. But we'll stick as long as we can with uh, Jesse and Nick. They're giving us some good good action over here. Oh yeah. 3-3. Three, three. It's always fun watching Nick. He's got so much emotion while he plays. Yes. Well, that was Jonathan, Jonathan Weaselhead last night in this, uh, this seven-foot table. He was in a hill-hill match, and he ended up losing. But, man, he wears his emotions Oh yeah. on his sleeve. He gets, he gets into his games. On some guys, that's just fuel, right? Yeah. All right. Back at her. Again, this is what we're here for. <clears throat> we'll get some sponsorship in the next next break that we have here. We'll get some sponsors up on the mat. Oh my goodness! Just over again. A little overcut on that. Hit the. Uh, yeah, he's going for the pro side of the hole, but he's going a little too far on the pro side of the hole. Seems to be an excellent little bit of a hole here now. Yeah. He's going to have to start to dig deep. Okay, a little, little bit of 50-yard 50 yard, 50 yard line action there. <laughs> but Ben has got what here? He is shooting a deuce. That's a, off the beach. And the three is back here, right? So this, yeah. is one, this is the shot you don't really want to make. I mean, it, I mean, you do, but... It's, you want to find a way to let him make these shots, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, I mean, he makes this too, unless he can really put. Yeah. Okay. He there it playing is. Yeah. Safe. Yeah. So that's what I mean. You know, if you you take that shot, it's so hard to get. I mean, almost impossible to get three ball shape if you made that too, right? Yeah. You're just going straight up and never going to get it. So same thing with Jess here. Um, Jess. I mean, with Steve. You know, he's going to make that too. To get on this three, he's got to put a stroke on this. Yeah. Wow, a lot of guy uh, and he did. Oh, there right? he is. How good is that the stroke? The draw is just insane. How good is that stroke? Man. Perfect. Wow. So where's he going to? He's going to the four, which four is he's just gotta come between the six and the three here. So that's just top, maybe and maybe a little top right just to check it off and come up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Perfect. Jesse's making short work on his table. Yeah, left him a little distance, but he should make that. He's going to break the tie here, potentially. Well, he went side pocket. Wow. And he missed. What an interesting wow. shot to take there. He had, yeah, he had about a six foot shot, uh, for people that are not watching, he had about a six foot shot dead straight, shooting a little off the beach. Um, and he chose to cut it to the side and just undercut it. No, Nick's got and a real chance here. Yeah, and Nick's, Nick's, I mean, because he undercut it, it bounced past the side pocket and the white ball went up table. So Nick's got a really tough cut to the side. Yeah. Like, really, he's probably playing with maybe just exactly half a pocket here. So he's got to hit this perfect. And in our game here, we've got uh, Steve playing the five. Oh, yeah, going to get to the six. Come around. Perfect. These guys are so smooth with their English, eh? Just no no hiccups, no hitches, nothing. No. no. It's just so pure. Whoa, Nick went.
went post to post to outside post. He has frozen the nine ball on the horn. Jesse has no shot. Nope. He has no shot at all. It went post, so it went far post to inside post, and instead of going in the hole, it crept out and it's frozen to the outside of the Wow, Dear what God, a shot. He just made, you heard everybody, that's why, that's why Steve Fullen just, just stepped out of his stance there. Jesse just made a ridiculous, he banked. He banked off that horn into the, into the corner. My goodness. Outrageous. What a, what a great shot. Uh, you know, I was thinking of flipping the camera over for that because I just had a feeling. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Commentator's jinx, man. Yeah. Wow. And Steve's making a run here. Yeah. There we go. Looking to bring the business back. Bringing the business back. Bring it to within one. And nothing but net. There, there we go. And he's breaking. This could be a 5-5 match real soon. Potentially. He knows he's got to keep the hammer down. Yep, that's right. He can't, he can't let up. He's got a little bit of success right now, but he knows he's in a match, right? Ben, I mean, Ben hasn't missed a shot there. That's, this is, these are runouts. Yep. Right? So, you know, Ben is not going to sit there and get all down on himself. He hasn't missed a shot. So... Oh, and that's like exactly it, right? You know, if you start getting a little horny and start getting, you know, missing some some shots, then you might get a little down. But right now, it's, these guys are just playing perfect it up. games. They're just ripping it up. Yep. Yeah. That's what you expect. I mean, when you get down, you know, you get to the final four here, these are all guys who can put the ball in the hole. And he's talking about pool, everybody. Yeah. The ball in the hole. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> you know what I'm doing there, right? You don't know what I'm doing there? Do you know Jeff Durham? Dunham? Jeff Dunham? Oh, yeah, yeah. With the little yeah. Ahmed. Man, I haven't heard about him in a long time. Silence! Silence. I kill you! <laughs> <laughs> Infidel! <laughs> Ah, I have fun with it. <laughs> he used to be on about every half hour oh, on yeah. uh, Comedy Network there. Yeah, yeah. he's got a couple of uh, Netflix specials that are, I think, two or three or three or four right now that are in the, whatever, in the queue, you know, in your, yeah. your menu. So I just, the other night I was just like, ah, I'm feeling like laughing. So I, I threw him on. And he's so funny. I just love that guy. And all of them, all of his dolls. The crusty old man, the... The binary, whatever, genderless, uh, the purple doll, I can't remember the name. Anyway, that one, they're just hilarious. Nick went for a quick finish in his game. He tried to carry him off the two and the nine and just missed. He was getting a little, and, and, skunked a leave out of it. Left Jesse hooked. Yep. Yep. But he was going for a W, a quick W on a table with eight balls on it. Oh, and oh. missed the combo. First, one there. first miss for Ben. It wasn't easy. He was cutting back. Yeah. Yeah, Nick was getting a little, uh, a little greedy. Yeah, exactly, Tony, right? Like, both are playing great. The only thing is a couple of safeties or you might have wanted an inch shorter or inch longer or a little tighter or whatever. But, you know, again, that's... That's, you're talking perfect pool, right? So these guys are playing, you know, when it comes down to making the shots, they're playing perfect pool. It comes to a couple of the leaves on the safeties, you know, A instead of A plus. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, and I'm a record C, C plus player, right? Yeah. So I mean, yeah. these guys are just so yeah. good. Yeah, they are. I think, I think Steven can just pop this over a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if he can, again, oh, you know what? I got a side view here. Let's see what we can do here. Do we get a better look? Uh, 
Uh, can't really get a good look there. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, somebody's moved that camera. It's been they bumped. Have, yeah. It's been bumped. Yeah. Sorry, the side view's not very good, people. This is the first time I've uh, pulled it up since yesterday, and so it must have been bumped. We're gonna I'll have to get our producer down there and fix yeah, that. Yeah, I'll go fix that later. Okay, so we are asking for a ref. Hold on, I'll go get one. Hold on, people. Hello, everybody. He's left me here by myself, fending for myself. They are going to get a ref, looks like. He's potentially lining up another shot here. Bank for the combo. Okay, I went to go get Steph there to get the tournament. We don't want any problems like we had last night. Well, it's always better safe than sorry, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, let's nip, nip the problem in the bud before the problem becomes a problem, right? <laughs> well, yeah, and we're all here for memory of one, right? So Walter why start any problems? That's it, Nick. Walter, Peanut, it's Peanut, and Bubba J. There Those was, are the yeah. other ones. Yeah. Oh. Silence! <laughs> That's directed at you, Nick. <laughs> I kill you, and I kill you, and I kill you, and I kill you too. <laughs> the score for Nick and Jesse right now is four to three. Four for Jesse. Four for Jess. Let's see if I've got Off that, that incredible bank shot for the nine. Yeah, four three. Okay. So that was a good hit. But he didn't make the ball. And he's left Ben fairly safe. I think he's got the edge. I'm looking down the barrel. He might have a little bit more than paint to uh, to hit the one to hit the one ball, but he certainly can't make it anywhere. Nick and Jess, yeah, four three. <laughs> Tiff last night was a trouble. Was trouble. There's nothing but trouble. <laughs> Well, that was, you know, that was, again, you know, this is where we were talking about, you know, a couple of safeties that, you know, this Ben might have liked to hit that a little bit, a little bit firmer, so you come farther up table, get a little distance safety. This well, is makeable, but it's hard to hold for the two, right? Like he cuts that one in, and I think he's going to be back where he is, shooting at the two. Yeah. Well, the name of the game is make, make the other person make first mistake, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, often these rotation games, right? The nine ball and the ten ball, stuff like that. It is, it is, uh, you gotta be sure. You gotta, have, you gotta have the out or you gotta play safe, period, right? Like that's, with, at this level, it's, you either have the out or you're playing safe. This is, you know, when we play league and I talk to some of my teammates, they say, you know, so you've got a shot there that you can't make 80% of the time. And that means including leave, not just potting the ball. But if you don't get a leave, 80% yeah. of the time, so you got to start thinking of safety, you know. And so, again, that rule kind of works well no matter what level you are. You, know, you say a C-plus player level or whatever. But if you can't make a so, so your 80% is a lower range of shots than my 80%, but it's the same rule. So if you can't make a shot 80% of the time, you should be thinking of something else. Correct. Yeah. Right? He got, I mean, that's the best shape he was going to get out of that. He just pulled it off the rail. Well, and I mean, he is. made a great shot on that one, and it came, what, one, two, three, four rails to go all the way back there. And you know what? I mean, he just ran out of gas. So it left him a steep shot on that, too. Uh, and he just pulled it off the rail a little bit. That's a little tough. It was, it was a really good shot. Then here's probably going to look to spin it around and, yeah, and hide. That's got a slow. That's got a slow. Oh, he gave him the window. Mm. You can see it from there. You see the left side of it. Yeah. But he can jump that. He's only jumping half a ball, right? Yeah. I think he. Went, I think he can do this with uh, break you even. Just power punch. Oh, we don't want that on there. Oh, are we still on the side? I'm sorry, people. We are on the side. Keeping me with that 
That side view is no good. <laughs> They're calling you out on it right away, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera moved. Fix the camera, please. You oh, know, geez, I should be on top of that a little bit more. You're, you're, abs you're absolutely right, Grant. It was, uh, we, we got caught, we got fixated on the left <laughs> screen and not the right one. We thought we were watching the right screen. <laughs> I had it all queued up to move it over, but I didn't. <laughs> Stop it. Silence. <laughs> all right. Let's get some, some, this is what these guys are playing for. Hey, Ryan, these guys get to take home the first and second place trophies. These are take home trophies. Some beautiful trophies. And of this course, is, with the face of Len. Yep. This is uh, donated by Brian Siwick, I believe. And again, I can't say enough good words. Uh, let me get this out of the way and put that back on because he's shooting. That's what these guys are playing for. Oh, we got 5-3 over there. So it looks like Jesse scored another one. Yep. So we got 5-3 in the other A side semi. Great shot. That's got to slow down. That's got to get off the five. Oh, he's going to be tree chopped. No, oh. it bounced over a little bit. So he's got a clean stroke on it. He's got a clean stroke. Why are they stopping? Why is Eric on that table? I believe they took their five minute break. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. I believe so, yeah. So he's got a clean stroke on this. He can cut that. It's uh, sufficiently off the rail. That you know, and probably not a bad idea for Nick to take a break anyway. He's yeah. getting really hungry for some of those shots, right? Cost a couple of matches there. Yeah. Well, Ben's got a toughie here. I mean, this is a little bit of a do-or-die shot. I don't think he wants to miss this. No. Because um, if he does, he's probably leaving it pretty pretty much hanging. Not only that, everything's open right now. Yeah. It's a good, good opportunity for a run here. Nowak is on fire today. I heard he was on fire all weekend. Jesse's been shooting up a storm. Um, if you ask him... He'll say that, uh, again, like the match this morning, he's starting off hot, and then in a few of the matches, he says he gets a little little dry in the middle, and then he finishes strong, but he is shooting up, re he's shooting really well right now. Got a high from a Jordan Starzinski. Beautiful lady, as I can see. Wow. How lucky are we to have someone like that watching us? Yeah. Are they watching us? No. <laughs> I just want some listening to us. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, I can have you just run out there in front of the camera and we'll put the camera on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right in the middle, mid stroke, too. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's trying to hit the, he's trying to kick at the four here, eh? Oh, he tried wow. to squeeze it off the, off the nine. Okay, so the four ball is not particularly tough, but. Getting to that five, he's got a small window. If he gets on the right side of that nine, you know, it plays big. If he can come in underneath and come into the nine, perfect. Yeah. So this is this is all about control right now, right? A little bit of right, maybe top, little top right, but gets the check and come up. Even if he nudges the edge of the nine, he'll tear him out and still have a nice straight five. That's right. He just doesn't want to miss the nine. Or... Or, or, or play perfectly, right? That was the other choice. Right. Oh, you know, he, he takes a good second to walk around the table, look at everything, right? Yeah. It's got to gotta be a big factor. The thing, I mean, and, and again, this is a case where he just took what the table you know, gave, so he didn't put anything extra because he knows he can make the shot. For a lot of players, they get intimidated by, you know, that cut on that ball. Yeah. And so they're like, uh, you know, they try and do a little too much. Well, especially when the leave is going to be potentially a table runner, right? Yeah. yeah. And a little touch on the nine. He, oh, he needed a bigger touch on the nine. I 
I think that's too far for him to jump. Yeah, he's going to come in behind it. Try and play safe. It's hard. A little upset with that shot. Yeah. Yeah, he got. He made a little contact with the nine, but not enough to move it over. Yeah. <clears throat> Either hit it fuller or hit it harder. One of the two. Fuller would have pushed it to the rail. Harder would have just got it right out of there. Sorry, yeah, where's this being held? This is at, it's in Calgary. It's at the Leather Pocket. Uh, well, Ben is thinking here. At Leather Pocket Billiards. And um, just off 32nd and Edmonton Trail. That is right. It's a pool hall with nine diamonds, one, uh, nine nine foot diamonds, I should say. And hold on, let me get this getting ready to shoot um, one predator nine foot a whole bunch of seven foot so I don't know I can't count from behind me probably another nine or ten and it's a quite a nice little pool hall um, Ben Francis taking a good minute here to figure out his next shot yeah well this is a pivotal game right yeah. he either gets to the hill or it's five five and it's a race to two yeah right with with the fact that uh, you know Steve has won the last three so very, very important, this, this shot right now. <laughs> Sometimes it's just about calming your nerves too, right? Like, he's, you know, you can see he's talking to himself a little bit there, but, you know, it's just like, for me, I'd be like, okay, Dan, just, just be calm. Just, do what you gotta do and you know I wouldn't be like oh damn I put myself in the wrong spot or it's not like that you gotta just you know reassuring w words versus yeah. you know um, getting down I mean cool calm collective that's it play your game the way you know how to play it so I think he's gonna try and play this with a little bit of pace chip off the edge of the step yeah oh he didn't try and play off the chip he didn't try to try to make that is he gonna get lucky here though he might oh, oh. I think he's trying to make that I think so as well. Yeah, I thought that he might want to come up and just chip off the edge and just bring it out, leave the white ball. But he was he was trying to hit that full and trying to blast it up there. Well, I think he realizes try. how important this match, this game is here right yeah. now. Yeah. When a shot like that, either you make it or you know you're leaving it open, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, this looks like this duck soup for a tie game here. Just a little stop, stop shot, stop draw. Six inches. Yeah, there you go. And just routine. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> we're hill. Well, I shouldn't say right. hill, hill, but we're tied up at five now. Yeah. Let's give some sponsor um, um, acknowledgement here. So we have DCL Labor and Contracting. That's Ben DeWolf's com company. I believe uh, you probably will work there or not? I used to, yeah. Used I started to, yeah. my own company. Oh, did you? Yeah, nice. a couple of years ago. Uh, we have John Ditto, uh, Remax Professional. Oh, I'm going to have to get off here. This Ben is jumping on this break right away here. <coughs> Didn't give me a chance to get through everybody. Contact oh. DCL Labors, contractors for all your bridge building needs. What is it? Bridge building, infrastructure. Bridge building. Oh, nice. Bridges, dams, all that good stuff. I asked somebody to tell me what kind of construction, because it doesn't say there, and nobody knew. I figured I'd give a little shout out. Yeah, yeah. Let the people know. So two, four, six, eight. He made one, and he's got a shot on the one. Looks like Nick might cue, uh, uh, cue, claw one back on the other table. He's on the seven ball with a nine ball left. Yep. So he makes that seven. He should he make that, turn that one down to five, four. And Ben just played a lockup safety on Steven. Wow, what a shot. Yeah. And 
looking over at Nick. He is pretty perfect on the nine ball. He's got to stay down, pot the ball. In the and heart. There it is. Comes back within one. In the heart. We have a 5-4 match over there. And we've got a 5-5 match over here in the two semifinals. Uh, the Len Spitney And Memorial. it is getting interesting down here. Yeah. It is getting interesting. If you're not down here already, come stop by, watch some good pool, yep. have a few drinks, maybe get some food. Ben's got enough of that. Oh, yeah, he's got a lot of that, too. He's good. Yeah, look at that. That's fish in a barrel. So four, five, six, seven. Like, it's going up and down, but they're kind of stop shots each way, right? Stop, draw a little bit, stop, draw a little bit. He should be... Oh. Good eye, Tony. I, I, I wouldn't know. He says Ben changed his glove. He had a yellow one on earlier. Oh, he's got a green one on now. You're right. Uh, sometimes it's all part of the mental game. You know, you feel like you're falling behind a little bit. You need something to change it up. You know, it's funny. Yeah, it's um, there's some people, and I don't know if Ben's one of them. There's some people that have a sweating problem. Brad White. I don't know if you know that name or not. He's a... No. Master pool player, play, uh, Vegas master, played with Team Spain Olo for a long time. Um, he won uh, VNEA Westerns up in Edmonton, and he'd, I'd, I'd taken him. Like, it was the first time I kind of met him, and I ended up driving him up there because um, he, he, he piggybacked with me and another buddy, and I ended up being his number one fan. You could wring it. He had a towel with him when he was playing. You could wring it out, dripping wet with sweat. Jeez. Oh, it was disgusting. I mean, it was disgusting. Two words there. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. And it was just, but he used to sweat like crazy from his hands. Oh, I, I'll believe it too. I never had a problem until yesterday with that. Really? Playing on my last game. Oh, my God. Oh, missed by Ben. Uh-oh. He did all the heavy lifting, and now Stephen can come in here and clean this up. Still got to get to the nine, but that's right. Well, it's so hard to play perfect oh. every single shot. Oh, he's right? gonna get a freebie. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, he'll take it. See, and those are the type of shots that really get into your opponent's head, right? Especially after they fumble theirs. <coughs> wow. Look at that, and he's gonna take the lead on Ben yeah, Francis. That's four in a row. To get to the hill. Well, and we were talking about it earlier, right? He's going to have to step up a gear, and he definitely did. <coughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. A little unexpected. He knows he got a bit of a lucky, lucky. Uh, you know, that could have easily bobbled in that corner, and given, given Ben the, uh, the game, but he got it. You know what? You take the good with the bad. There's a whole bunch of us that. Uh, you, you give away games, you go, oh, I should have won that, and there's one you should lose. So there's one you can, you know, check off the list. You got one back. <laughs> you got one back. Well, off that seven ball, really no one deserved to win that game. Yeah. Yeah, we try and keep it. Um, WTF is okay, but let's just try and keep it a little uh, family friendly. We get what you're saying. That was a, it was a little bit of good luck, bad luck, depending who you're cheering for, right? Yeah. Eh, you know what? You say you're right, Tony. There's a little bit of luck in the game, but I mean, he also hit a perfect pace. When I mean, you think about it, if he hits that too hard, it maybe changes the angle off that off his miss he hits it too soft doesn't get there right he you know not that he was trying it it wasn't certainly wasn't going to be a two-way that's not what he was playing but you know it's kind of uh he hit it perfect 
What's that? We want to go over there? Yeah, switch on to the next game here. Let's do that. While they're setting up. All right, we got a 5-4 match, and... Oh, that seven ball is and, so unlucky today. And, and you told me to move it right when he was going to miss. That was... I just he's going to hate you for that. <laughs> you don't say a word to him about <laughs> it. <laughs> he is going to rip you apart <laughs> yeah, I miss enough of my shots. That's not my problem. <laughs> There we go. It's a, I, I flashed it up there. Well, it's still on there right now. It's 5-4 for Jesse. See, just as they're asking about it, too. Yep. That's the yep, curve. No, right? perfect. So Nick's got a chance here to steal one back. He's looking Square to make that, that seven, right? Yep. Is he cutting back or is he cutting to this corner? He's cutting to our... Oh, he's got the one here, yeah. Nothing but net. Wow. That's a great shot. Maybe a little further than he wanted to with that cue ball. He's pretty straight on with it now. Yeah, he'll just take it to the top left. And yeah. You know, just carry him off up to the up here and have a pretty straight nine ball. It's again, it's just one of those things. Just make the shot. Well, and he definitely knows how to, right? Yeah. Yeah, because the nine ball from anywhere up here is so easy, right? Uh, easy, you know. Okay, our Steve is ready to break, so there you guys got to see that, so you can assume he's going to make the nine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> we'll he let you guys know. He giveth and he taketh away. That's the power I have. <laughs> <laughs> Six goes into the side pocket there yep. for Steve. Big break, and he's got a he's got an opening one ball shot. Yep. Next down at the table there. And Nick closed escrow right in the center of the pocket. We get a five five Ties game over up. there. That's what we like to see. Yep. Yeah, you guys got to see the two really good shots there. Oh, he overcut that a little. He overcut that a little. Well, it, it, wasn't, was it wasn't a gimme. It wasn't nope. a gimme. Definitely not. Well, and that's what Ben Franson is looking for, right? Yeah. Just yep. that opportunity there. It's funny when you watch Ben play. He just leaps out of his seat when another player makes a mistake like that. He just, get, let me at the table. Just yep. let me get there. I really like that about him in this game, right? Like, he just, it's not that he's hoping for you know somebody to miss that's not the case at all it's just he just wants the chance give me you know give me the ball coach oh, he's, he's one so of those hungry, guys right yeah yeah well and that's it you know that's, that's i equate it to like the michael jordans you know they're the guys that want the last shot right give me yeah. the ball coach you heard it here first folks ben francis is the Michael Jordan uh -oh. of Oh, pool. you heard that here first. <laughs> Dan has proclaimed it himself. Hello. Yes, please. Whatever he wants. <sighs> Hold on before you go. Oh, where is it? Ben Francis got a pretty straightforward leave here. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you get a hill hill match here in a moment. Multiple hill hill matches. Oh, and he's back to the yellow glove. Somebody noticed. He is. He changed his glove. We're gonna have to talk to him after this game. Figure we out what will. That's about. A little bit of a mystery going on here. Boy, whoever this, Tony, you are like Johnny on the spot. He didn't want to be on the beach there, but that's okay. He's got this. You are Johnny on the spot. That is some real top. Now, I got to tell you, we are looking at a big screen, split screen, and we are looking around the screen sometimes at the table, and we're looking at the other table. So there are times that we are not paying attention, that close attention to that kind of detail. But that is Johnny on the spot with that. Going hill, hill. Hill, hill. Yeah, Tiff. 
This is a great match, actually. This is there's been a whole bunch of good ones on this table all morning. Yeah. And Some I tell you, right, shooting's been happening for sure. Yeah. And Nick's up at the other table. We got a five-five match over there. I don't know what's going on behind. I haven't even turned around to see what's going on behind us. Yeah, it's hard to turn our attention away from yeah. this. Yeah, we'll get two of the best matches right here in front of us. We got a Let's Go franchise from Grand Sam. <laughs> Thought you were on a plane. Get on the plane. Get on the plane already. Uh oh, that's the one time. Oh, he made one. Wow, his that's wing, his wing ball. That's the first break that his wing ball didn't go down, and you saw it. He pointed at it. That four ball. Yeah. It went rattle, rattle, and popped out. But he knows that's his ball. Like he's made it every break. That wing ball. And so he was. He, you saw him. His head went down a little bit when it when it bobbled. But I then the seven, then the seven crept into the side pocket. Can't catch the glove changing, but I'll catch that head drop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm being picked on by my guest. What's going on here? <laughs> Superstitious, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to ask him. We'll get yeah. him on here. Maybe uh, Maybe he's just playing into the crowd, right? Yeah. Knows it's he, something you guys are going to be paying attention to. Well, you know, I bet you if he wins this, if he, if he manages to pull this off and wins this Hill Hill match, gets the ace, I bet you he'll come on for a few seconds after the, the match. We'll get him on and get you guys to ask him a question or two. I mean, you're used to him being... Uh, being a commentator, but uh, I'm sure he'll come on as a guest and yeah, for sure. share some uh, share some insights. Cause that's that's pretty good stuff there. Yeah, and Ben's now. locked him up. Ben has locked him up behind his eight ball. That nine's playing pretty big. I think he can get by it. I think he can get by it. Okay, he can make contact with that one, but it's you know you got to control it. You know, he's going to try and make it, obviously, but still a low percentage shot. Yeah, this might be. Come and try and pop the nine, uh, the one up here. It's kind of tough because the two is right in the middle of the table. The three is pretty open. The four is a gimp. So, you know, it's hard to get. Hard to get covered on this. You just want to make the other guy. Oh, wow. he made it. He made it. No, no, he didn't make it. Oh, but he. Wow. And ben so Francis has a shot here now. There were so many things going on in that shot. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Both of us had different things to say. There were so many things going on there. He could have carried him the four. He could have. There was a lot there. All right, but like I said, now the table's wide open. Yeah. He's got a great shot. Yeah, he's just got yeah, to make a ball. Who knows? Maybe the yellow gloves for tied nice or ahead. shot. Look at that. He just. He just Spear that in. That yeah. was just a great shot. But that yellow glove might be when he's tied or ahead. Maybe. Green one might be when he's behind. Oh, that's a good, good observation. My, my theory, though. Yep. I think you're right. I think you're right. Oh, Nick's looking like he's going to pull one out here. He's on the eight ball. He's on the eight ball. He's got to be careful not to push it too far. Uh, I think he's going to go past it. He'll do. He'll cut it in. He'll come. He'll go past the nine. Come back up. Take what the table gives him there. He won't try to hold that. He's going to watch. He doesn't skid off the eight and hit the nine. Yeah. And he might end up leaving the white ball down here in the nine-up table. That's what I'd be worried about. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit thin. It's a bit thin. So he might nick the nine. Yeah, we're talking about uh, we're talking about Ben, ain't you know, Tony? Yeah, yeah, he's certainly a gentleman. He's become a good friend of mine. He eats those leaves. Jesus Christ! I think you gotta get some glasses or something. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about the same shot? We've broken 100 watching this stream yeah, Mike, here. Yeah, Mike, we're thinking it's not the sweaty because why would he go back to the yellow glove after he hit? Thank you so much. Why would he go back to the yellow glove if it's sweaty? I think it's. I think uh, our, our guest commentator figured it out. Maybe when he's down, he puts the green glove on. Maybe that's like a go glove. Yeah. And then when he's up, he's got the uh, his normal glove and he's just... 
Like, like, who knows, right? Yeah, I know what you meant. I know what you meant, Grant. On the one ball, yeah. He got a little out of shape here on the five. He played that, you know, he played that slow roller on the one on the four ball there. But I saw I was looking right down the barrel at it. It started to he had so much spin on it, so much left. It started to mass eight. He just nicked it. He probably wanted to hit it a little fuller so it would check and stop there. Take the five ball straight up rather than getting even with it. But because it started to mass eight, he just ticked it. So it came up a little farther than he wanted. Well, and this is not where you want to be at this time, right? Oh, Nick got that game, I think. Yes, he did. It is Nick's on the hill. Six to five now. Oh, we got two great games, two great matches on the A side here. Yeah. thinking about every possibility yeah. here right so you got you got two balls so if he plays what I'm, I'm sorry I'm pointing at the screen you guys can't see this yeah side banks a good call that's what we got uh, Larry Walpers behind us he's saying the same thing but I think you play left edge with a little left bottom oh he went wow. with a cut oh my god Look what a great that. shot now bounce come on get bounce. back get back oh, oh. He makes a shot like that. Anyway, the Shouldn't shot I was saying was maybe. Like that. That's an incredible cut. Yeah, Nick off the five and go hide behind the six is what I was saying. But you know what? Holy, what a good shot. That was disgusting. I mean, good. Disgusting good. <laughs> they know what you mean. Come on. <laughs> wow. What a crazy shot that was. And just to get that lead is horrible. Even if he's even if he stuck to the rail, he could cut back that, that six ball. But he yeah. came out perfectly behind the nine. Now he's right handed. So he can jump this. It's on the right side, it's on the proper side of the table if he wants. He can lean over. He's been walking around the table, laughing at himself, shaking his head a little bit here. Definitely disappointed on that bounce. Yeah, I mean this is uh, this is not he's not he doesn't have to jump over too much ball here, so I think oh he's still got another cue in his hand. Yeah, he broke out his extension as well. Oh, so he's gonna try. Oh, I know what he's gonna do. I don't he's know. gonna come off the rail. I don't know what he's trying. He's gonna hit here and come across and cut it back. That's such a dangerous cut. Yeah, that is. That's a tough shot because you're going away. You could if you could you could you could touch it and just scoot right across into that corner pocket, right? Yeah. And it's so far outside of the pocket. Yeah, it's so far out of the pocket. I mean, relatively speaking. That's he's gotta hit that he's with paint. Perfect. Yeah, he's gotta hit it with paint and still keep it out of that corner. And to be stretching that far and trying to make that shot is just Oh there it is, yeah. Oh, but you know what? It was a two way. There you go. Yeah, he was playing a two way. He knew if he missed, I guess. I think there's an edge there though. He walked back to his chair smirking as well. He knew what he was doing. He was either going to make or break, right? What a great try. Yeah. And there it is. Game There showed. is game set the match. Open. Well, no, there's still there's still eight feet there. <laughs> I've seen many of these bobble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not... Uh, that's not automatic. Ben Francis for sure going to take a good look at the shot first. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's lucky he's got a little bit of angle. So he can, if this was straight, this would be. Yeah, he plays shot. it naturally. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ben's coming out of his chair a little bit here. He's, uh, he's definitely cooled off a little bit since the beginning. Since the first five, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, he got out to a 5 2 lead. Now we're at Hill Hill. Yep. 
few <coughs> cracks in the ice we've started to see. Yeah, but like I said earlier today, right? There's another player. It's like uh, I liken it to hockey. You know, they got guys get a breakaway and they're like, oh, he should score all the time. I'm like, no, the goalie has something to say about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody's like, yeah, he should, he's, a, he's a 50 goal scorer. He should score. Yeah. The goalie's a professional goalie. He shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have something to say about that all the time. So it's the same thing. He's playing against a guy that, you know, he wants to win. For sure. Oh, bounce. Big bounce. Big bounce. All right. Well, down to the last ball in the Hill Hill game, everybody. Of Ben Francis. Could you get a better? Could you better get a, yeah, get a better match. This is very much like his opening shot. And he got it. And just Woo. beautiful. What a match. Excellent composure from Ben Francis. What a match. Now let's switch over here because we got another one going on over yep. here. We got a little. Could be tied up Hill Hill. Could be Hill Hill over here, people. There it is. Are Hill you Hill. ever kidding Look with the good that. action today? Look at that. Why, oh, why is there not 100 people behind me watching this? Well, we'll have to try and get Ben Francis down here. We've got to ask him about that glove. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Hold on, I'm going to try and get Ben on the mic here for a sec. Everybody, just uh, hold on. We're just standing waving for a taxi over here, just trying to get his attention. Oh, yeah. Tiff Tiffany's cheering for Jess. That would be two good buddies, good friends here. Uh, ben and, and Jesse would be in the A side final. Oh, he just had the one ball. Post to post on the side there. Yeah, this gives Nick a chance. Finally get his attention. He'll be down here in a second. Get to the bottom of this whole <laughs> glove business. Well, we got what? What do we got? We got 112 on YouTube. And 87, and 87 on, face on Facebook. Facebook. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna have a little we're gonna have a little chat with Ben. We've had some questions here about your match. There, we got okay. a couple. Yeah, we got one. You changed your glove from a yellow glove to a green glove, back yeah, to a yellow glove. My hands sweat pretty good. Is that what it is? Know that, that my hands sweat good. Yeah. Oh, okay, we had some we had some thoughts that maybe you wore the yellow glove when you were up, and then no, it seemed no, to no, be no. when you were down you I put am the a green glove. Superstitious. Are you superstitious? Super okay, yeah. okay. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> well, he just had he just ben, had sweaty hands. I just get game. sweaty hands. There we go. You played an excellent game. Congratulations. There we go. What a great match. Thanks, Ben, for coming over and clarifying that for us. And we got Nick. Nick at the table over there in a Hill Hill game. Yep. You guys are getting bonus coverage here. And then when, we, when we're done here, we'll shut the stream, uh, shut it down, and we will be back for the A-side final. Oh, and what a treat that'll be, hey? Yeah. Yeah. And we'll swing, we'll swing the PTZ over to the seven foots, so we catch whatever remaining action there is on the on the B side. It'll be quite a bit because you know we're gonna have two guys that just lost here that are gonna be dropping down there. Yep. So. What a match! Yeah, what a match! He, just, he played. He, he deserved to win this game. I played me, you know, like he was, had the break going, he was breaking and running, he didn't miss anything. What's that? Or I just want you to catch you on the speaker. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah. So we got no, no, he, he, we got Steve yeah, Follin in the that. house. And like, even when he kicked, he kicked the six. Like he knew that he could have got covered with the nine. You know? Right. So like I wasn't too choked about that. But, uh, I was supposed to make the one. You know, like right. uh, to win to, to try and win seven five. You know. Yeah. Well, you and had an excellent was, comeback there. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, he, his break was working. He was breaking, running all his racks. And I just couldn't get the break going. But. Uh, but yeah, somehow, you know, a couple of times he broke, didn't get a shot in the one properly, so he had to play safe, and then yeah. things happened. But yeah, he definitely. Uh, if I won that set, like I didn't really deserve it over him, you know, really, right. because you know. He, well, he 
much better than I did. Well, you both played so well. Yeah, so it was shots best there. match of the tournament so far, oh, I think. Yeah. It came down to the last ball in the Hill Hill game. Yeah, I, I, had a <laughs> I can't miss the ball the whole set, really. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, he's left himself funny on this line. I could do with a miss right here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I wouldn't have been too upset if he missed, but um, no, but he played great. Yeah. Yeah, you both played great. Through the B side. Yep. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. I'm sorry, everybody. We have potential match ending here. Oh. Oh, he played the combo and didn't get it. No, he did not. Uh oh. Wow. Oh, there it is on the replay or on the delay. Now this game looks oh, like it's broken it wide open. He missed it by a lot. Yeah. Mm. Some people take that opportunity every chance they get, right? And that's it's a it's a high risk, high reward shot, especially on a hill hill match. I mean, oh, yeah. in my inexperience, I, I I couldn't ever see myself playing that shot. Oh, how's that for perfect? Just beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's got to be gutting. Open yep. up the shot for your opponent there. No, no, definitely not. He thought it was a gimme. There we go. Wow. What well, a beautiful you know what? set of games. There was two ways Nick could have played that, right? The table was open, so he didn't have to go for the combos with uh, Carlos was beside us, Barbosa. Yeah. And he could have played to just play that, that six ball in the top right corner instead of going for the combo on the nine. He, he had that play. Uh, now, mind you, I think the 6-9 was there. It, 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 it was there, but, um, you know, a lot of these guys, because they're really top-notch players, I mean, they go for the run-out rather than playing combos, because you just, you never know if you get a skid or you get anything like that, so. So we got the winner of the uh, Nick and Jesse game here. There we go. Just we got, got his thoughts on the match. A little bonus coverage here, a little bonus coverage. We got jesse nowak in the house jesse hey, hey fans how you doing out there they're doing great they just got to watch hill hill both a side oh. semis did i even miss a shot that match crazy <laughs> it was it was it was great shooting by everybody it was it was really fun that to watch. was uh intense both intense. semifinals yeah 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 so yeah well down to the you know basically down to the last ball the last oh, last man. game it's so you played it's exciting yeah. Yeah, I'm still time. sweating. It's <laughs> well, apparently Ben is too. He changed his glove twice in that match. Well, I missed a chance to go 6-3, 6-4. Six, six, yeah. Next yeah. thing you know, it's Hill Hill. Yeah. Oh, you played well, Jess. So well, thank you. Nick Good luck in the A final. On that last shot there, you watch Nick try and make that combo shot. What would you have played? Oh, I would not play that combo. Okay. But, That's what uh, Carlos said the same thing. He said he would have played out, shot. played it out, right? Yeah, oh. I couldn't believe I was back to the table, and here I am, going to yeah. win the tournament. There it is. Going to win the tournament. I like the attitude. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, man. No, I yeah, feel very fortunate. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Well, good job. Good job. And you're going to be on the next you're Thanks, be guys. On the next stream. Good luck. All right. Yeah, All right, everybody. We are going to. We are going to. This is an A side match. Racing the seven. This camera is usually on the seven the tables. B side match. But swung it around to catch this match. Oh, somebody was asking. All right, so we are going to shut this this stream down. I want to say thank you from Q Sports Live. I'm Dan Clark. We had Ryan DeWolf thank as you the for guest having commentator. Me. Yeah, you're welcome. And we will be back with some more. I don't know if we can beat that. I'm going to say that, that right now. I don't know if we can beat that, but we're going to be back and we're going to try. That was a lot that. of fun. All right. Yep. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you. Catch you in a bit.